Hello everyone, this is Mr. Nice Guy and in this video you will learn how to find the square root of a number without using the square root function of your calculator. So essentially what we need to do is to prime factorize the number which we are given. For example, a question will be something like find the value of square root of 144. So what we have to do is to prime factorize 144. So 144 we can divide by 2 and in this step we can actually use our calculator. So 144 divided by 2 we get 72. 72 we can also divide it by 2 which will give us 36. 36 divided by 2 gives us 18. 18 we still can divide by 2 give us 9. So when we get 9 we need to move on to the next prime number which is 3. And 9 divided by 3 gives us 3, 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. So we can agree that 144 is equals to 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. And square root of 144 will be equals to square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. And we can separate the 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2 by writing the square root separately. So this will be equals to square root of 2 to the power of 4 times square root 3 to the power of 2. Now let me just add the square root 2 on top so the next step will be clearer to you. The next step is also the most difficult step because we need to divide the power by 2. So how do we express it will be in this way. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 times 3 to the power of 2 divided by 2. Where do I get the 2? I get the 2 from the square root. So this will give us 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 1 because 2 divided by 2 equals to 1. And we will have 4 times 3 which will give us 12. So 12 will be the answer. And remember, we can always check our answer to see whether 12 times 12 will give us 144. Now, I will want to take a few seconds to talk about the presentation part of the working. For these two steps, I have written them down to show you how I get from square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2 to 2 to the power of 2 times 3. And they are actually not very important that you write them out. So you can actually just erase them and skip all the way from square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2 to 2 to the power of 2 times 3. So just remember the power after we square root them will be divided by 2 when we are square rooting the number. Now let us take a look at another example square root of 1764. So 1764 it is an even number. We can divide it by 2. And if we need help, we can always use our calculator to do the division. We'll get 882. 882 divided by 2 will give us 441. And because 441 cannot be divided by 2, we need to move on to the next prime number. 441 divided by 3 will give us 147. 147 divided by 3 will give us 49. Forty-nine divided by seven will give us seven. Seven divided by seven will give us one. So square root of one seven six four will be equal to square root of two to the power of two times three to the power of two times seven to the power of two. Then we divide the power by two, and we will get two times three times seven, and this will give us forty-two. And 42 will be our answer. And just remember to check whether 42 times 42 will give us back 1764. So the last example I will show is square root of 3600. Now 3600 is divisible by 2, so we divide it by 2, we will get 1800. 1800 divided by 2 will give us 900. 
900 divided by 2 will give us 450. 450 divided by 2, we can always use our calculator if we want. And we will get 225. 225, we cannot divide by 2. Let's divide it by 3. And we will get 75. 75 divided by 3 will give us 25. 25, we can divide it by 5. Give us 5, and 5 divided by 5 will give us 1. So square root of 3600 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 2. And we will divide all the power by 2. 4 divided by 2 will give us 2 to the power of 2. 2 divided by 2 will give us 3 to the power of 1. And 2 divided by 2 will give us 5 to the power of 1. We don't write power 1 because it is the same thing. And this will give us 4 times 3 times 5. And this will give us 60. So please remember to check your answer whether 60 times 60 will give us 3600. And that's all for this video. In our next video, you will learn how to do cube root without using the cube root function. See you!